I am Jasmine Nadal Sadanya from BSN 111B and today I will be performing a return demonstration of administering oral medications. So medication is usually given orally which is generally the most comfortable and convenient route for the patients. So a medication given orally has a slower onset and a more prolonged but less potent effect medication administered by other routes. So when administering the oral medications, first thing to do is to check the physician's order to know what are the medications that should be given to the patient. And then check the medication administration record or the MAR with the physician's order for um, drug, na drug name, dosage, frequency, and the route of administration. So, orders for certain medications such as narcotics, antibiotics, can expire after a specified time frame and they need to be reordered by the primary care provider. So, here, um, the doctor prescribed the patient with a carbocystine salt milk with a dosage of um, 375 milligram that should be taken every eight hours three times a day orally after meal also next is to verify the client's ability to take medication orally so that I mean whether the client can swallow is um, nauseated or vomiting has gastric suction or has um, diminished up or absent bowel sounds so next is to organize the supplies to save the to save time and reduce the chances of error and then bring the requisites to the preparation area so if here i have already prepared the um, equipment or the requisites that we will be using so the requisites are the following medicine cups so i have here three medicine cups um medicine dropper a medicine tray a tissue and of course the um, the medicines and if needed a stethoscope and a sphygma manometer and of course perform hand washing to protect um, my patient as well as myself from the infection and cross-contamination So now we will now proceed to the procedure. So first is to read the MAR and take the appropriate medicine and the box or the cabinet and make sure to read the label and then remove the medicine from the box. Now compare the label of the medication against the order of the MAR. So this is a safety check to ensure that the right medication is given. So if these are not identical, then we check the prescriber's written order in the client's chart. So and if there is a and if there still is a discrepancy, then check the nurse in charge or in charge or the pharmacist. 
song next, I'll go sustain, please identify the next one. Next is to recheck the label of the medicine with the MAR and note the expiration date because um, outdated medications are not safe to administer. So in preparation of prescribed medication, for tablets or capsules, if the medicine is in a bottle, then shake the prescribed number into the bottle cup. And if in a box, then shake the prescribed number into the medicine cup. So for liquid source suspensions, first thing to do is to thoroughly mix the medication before pouring. So um, discard any medication that has changed color or turned cloudy. So thou, then re, uh, remove the cup and place it upside down on the countertop. Counter so this, um, this is done to avoid contaminating the inside of the cup. And then hold the bottle so the label is next to your palm and pour the medication away from the label. So this is done to prevent the label from becoming soiled or um, illegible as a result of the spilled, as a result of spilled liquids. So hold the um, label like that. So now place the thumb on the prescribed level and read it at the lower meniscus or the um, crescent shaped upper surface of a column of liquid. So this method ensure the accuracy of the measurement. So then pour the exact amount of medicine prescribed into the medicine cup. So before cupping the bottle, wipe the lip with a paper towel or tissue paper. So this prevents the cup from sticking Now for drops, using a medicine dropper, draw the amount needed and place it inside the medicine cup. So here I have already prepared the medication and MAR together on the medication part. So now I am going to check the room number against the MAR before entering the client's room. So this is um, another safety measure to ensure that the nurse is entering the correct client room. the client's identity by asking the client to state her full name and birthday and checking the wristband. So this is to ensure that the right client receives the right medication. Good morning ma'am, how are you? I'm good. Okay, so I am Jasmine Daniel, your student nurse for today. May I see your wristband please? Okay, kindly state your name and birthday please. Jeremiah Sidania, uh, November 21, Okay, thank you. So, Mom Jeremy, I am here to give you your medicine as ordered by your attending physician, Dr. Strong. So, are you aware of any allergy you might have for certain medications? No. Okay, so have you taken your breakfast already? Yeah. Okay, that's good. So, if medication is highly acidic, such as Aspirin, then you may give the client a snack like crackers if the food is not contraindicated. So, so at, client's bed, at client's bedside, match up the MAR with the names of a medication as shown on their labels and with the client's name. So if needed, perform the pre-administration assessment such as 
um, pulse rate, respiratory rate, or blood pressure. Okay, ma'am, so Dr. Strong has prescribed you with carbocysteine. Its generic name is Solmilk with dosage of 375 mg. To be taken uh, every 8 hour, every after meal. So, this should be taken 3 times a day. And it is in a capsule form. So, Solmilk is a mucolytic, which means that it will help you cough up phlegm. So, it will relieve your cough characterized by your excessive phlegm. So this medicine has no side effects, but if ever you feel come discomfort, nausea, um, or diarrhea, then please approach me immediately, okay? Now assist the client to sit or to a sideline position. So these positions facilitate swallowing and prevent aspiration, and then administer the medicine to the patient. And also give the client a sufficient water or preferred juice to swallow the medicine. So fluid, fluids is swallowing and facilitate absorption from the GI tract. And grapefruit juice may not be safe for, for clients to take certain medications. Mom, can you please sit down? Here's your medicine. Your water. Good job. So stay with the client until all the medications have been swallowed. The nurse must see the client swallow the medication before the drug administration can be recorded. So the nurse may need to check the client's mouth to ensure that the medication was swallowed and not hidden inside the cheek. Mom, can, you pl can I please see your mouth? So good job, mom. We are done taking your medication. So I will now leave you here so that you can have some rest. So do you need anything? No. Okay, so thank you so much for your preparation, mom. Have a great day. So now that I am done administering the documentations to my patient, I will now proceed to documenting the procedures that I have done. So the documentation includes the medication given, time, growth given, so um, the, medis the medicine that I have given to my patient as prescribed by Dr. Strong is carbocystin solmux with a dosage of 375 milligrams. So it should be taken every 8 hours, every after meal, and um, 3 times a day. So also include in the documentation for any complaints or assessment of the client and it and if the medication was refused or omitted, then also include the reasons of omission. And also, never forget to put your, your signature on the documentation sheet, which signifies that you have carried out the doctor's order. Now, dispose all supplies appropriately by replenishing all the stocks and return the car to the appropriate place and discard the used disposable supplies. And also perform the aftercare of the equipments by washing, by washing them and returning them to its proper places. So here, uh, here are my, uh, my equipments. I have already washed and dried this, and now I'm going to return it, to return it to their own places. <laughs>